great to be here. Welcome to Polkadot Decoded. Um, thanks for joining. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about how to unlock the power of cross-consensus messaging with Moonwell. And let me just introduce myself really quickly. Uh, my name is Luke Youngblood. I'm a co-founder of Lunar Labs. We are one of the core teams that contributes to Moonwell. And I'll tell you more about Moonwell in a little while. But first, I want to just uh, take you all on a journey through the Paraverse with me today. And uh, as Dr. Strange says, it may get a little weird. So I hope you're ready for the adventure. Um, so let me talk to you a little bit about cross-consensus messaging. Uh, so what is cross-consensus messaging? And why does it make Polkadot uh, one of the best ecosystems to build on? Uh, cross-consensus messaging is just parachain to parachain communication. Uh, but the key here is that it's secured by the relay chain, and that's what gives parachains superpowers. And really, this is what drew us to build on, on Moonbeam and on Polkadot. So I'm happy to kind of share more with you about, about some of the capabilities of cross-consensus messaging, or XCM. Let's just call it XCM. It's easier to say that. So what are some of the capabilities? And I say some because there are lots of new capabilities that are, that are going to pop up in the future that we're just unaware of today. Um, when you have the ability to securely communicate between apps and between parachains, it opens up new possibilities and new use cases that have never been done before in crypto and in blockchain technologies. So what are some of those capabilities? First, we can now send messages and communicate between apps on any parachain. So in the past, you know, if you had an, a, a DAP on, let's say, Ethereum, and you had another DAP on you know, Polkadot or some other blockchain, you couldn't communicate with each other. But if those two apps are on different parachains, now they can communicate with each other. And the important thing about this communication is that it needs to be very, very secure. Right? When we're sending messages between parachains and between apps, it's important that these messages are inherently secure and that they have the same level of security as the blockchain itself. And Polkadot gives us that because the relay chain collators actually secure every cross-chain message. So we can securely communicate between apps. This means we can actually teleport tokens and NFTs between parachains. And this is something we've never been able to do before. Um, and this is why these messages need to be secure. We're actually teleporting value, right? We're, we're now saying, I want to send you know, 20 tokens of this type from one parachain to another, or I want to send this NFT from one parachain to another. It needs to be extremely secure. And, and the beauty of this is that the relay chain gives us that security. That strong shared security vision is what drew us to, to Polkadot. Some other things we can do. We can mint digital assets on one parachain and we can use them on all the parachains. And we see, we see parachains like Akala doing this today uh, with AUSD. And others, uh, like Bifrost with their VKSM product. We see Lido doing this with staked KSM and staked DOT, which are liquid staked representations of these tokens. And this is a new capability, again, that doesn't exist in other layer ones or other layer zeros, if you will. Uh, so this is very powerful and really drew us to Polkadot as well. And then finally, we can really reduce or eliminate bridge risk. I think everyone is kind of, if you've been following crypto the last few months, you've seen a lot of these bridge exploits and bridge hacks that have come up. You know, the biggest one was probably Wormhole. Uh, and there's been others, the Ronin Bridge uh, for Axie Infinity. Uh, and we continue to see them. Harmony One just had $100 million lost on their bridge last week. So we can really reduce or eliminate bridge risk by simply teleporting those apps from parachain to parachain. So now I'd like to introduce you to Moonwell. So what is Moonwell? Well, Moonwell is an open and decentralized lending and borrowing protocol on Moonbeam and Moonriver. And I'd like to talk a little bit about my team and kind of how we got started building in this space. So um, I've been working in crypto for several years now. I made it my full-time job back in 2019 when I joined Coinbase. Uh, and I helped to launch staking rewards at Coinbase. And so a few of us um, were really heavily interested in proof of stake validators and how to build secure validators on proof of stake networks. And uh, I met a lot of really great and talented people at Coinbase. Um, in fall of 2019, we attended, some of us attended the Web3 Summit in Berlin. And it was there that I kind of got inspired 
uh, by the Web3 Foundation and by Parity, and I saw them building this, this multi-parachain future, and I was really inspired by it. Um, and the reason is that I realized that this is a unique capability that you know, we, we never had before, to run multiple parachains on a single layer zero. Um, and so that really inspired some of us to start building in the Polkadot space. And then at the same time, um, some of my other co-founders and I were getting really into decentralized finance. It was before DeFi summer, and we started, uh, we had a hackathon at Coinbase. We did these every year where we would just, you know, hack on things that weren't part of our normal product roadmap. And so we started hacking with the team from Compound Finance. And some of us built the first price oracle for Compound before they switched to Chainlink. And so that gave us our first exposure to DeFi, and we were kind of hooked on DeFi. And so it was sort of a natural evolution as we, as we formed a team earlier this year to build Moonwell. We brought some of the best experts in proof of stake validators and some of the best experts in DeFi together, and we all decided to, to start a new thing together. So Moonwell is a DeFi lending and borrowing protocol. It's permissionless and it's decentralized, meaning it trustlessly connects uh, lenders that are, want to lend a digital asset to borrowers that want to borrow a digital asset. And this allows uh, us to do new things with our crypto. For example, I can borrow against my crypto to pay bills in the real world. And it gives more capabilities that people just don't, don't have today in the Dotsama ecosystem. We launched our first uh, protocol in February 2022, February of this year, on Moon River. And it quickly became the largest protocol in the Dotsama ecosystem by TVL. Uh, and then more recently, we just launched last week on Moonbeam, which is a parachain on, on Polkadot. And uh, we're really excited to help grow the larger uh, Polkadot and Moonbeam ecosystem. So today, we're actually using this capability of XEM. Today, you can supply and borrow KSM and DOT that come from the relay chain. So you can teleport your KSM or your DOT directly to Moonbeam or Moon River, and then you can supply it on Moonwell, and you can earn interest as a lender, or you can borrow it if you'd like to borrow it as a borrower. And so we're giving people that are holding their KSM or DOT new things they can do with it. Now you can borrow against your KSM or your DOT, and you can use it in DeFi. So we're pretty excited about this capability of being able to bring the best assets from all the parachains into Moonwell and allow people to have to be able to borrow and lend against them. So we're going to lean into this really heavily. We want to bring the best assets from all the parachains to Moonwell. Uh, we want to add support for AUSD, which is a Kala's stablecoin. It's a fully collateralized stablecoin, uh, similar to Make or Die, if you're familiar with that. And we're really excited about being able to support that because it's one of the first native stable coins in the Dotsama ecosystem. Likewise, we also see teams like the Interlay team building IBTC, uh, and we'd love to be able to support IBTC as a collateral asset on Moonwell. Uh, we want to bring in other assets from uh, Bifrost and others as well. So, you know, if you're building a parachain or you're part of a team that's, that's building assets on a parachain, We'd love to talk to you and figure out a way we can list your asset on Moonwell and provide the, the holders of your asset with more capabilities that they can do with their crypto. Um, so we've also been really focused on you know, building high levels of security and trust minimization into Moonwell. And so you know, many of us have been working in DeFi since before DeFi summer, and we've, we've kind of seen how much, uh, how important security is to this space. And so when we built Moonwell and we, we started collaborating on Moonwell, we decided we need to have the highest levels of security. So we've enlisted, uh, we've partnered with Halborn Security uh, to do multiple audits on all the Moonwell smart contracts. And uh, through their help, we've been able to mitigate and avoid a lot of the um, exploits that have hit other DeFi protocols. We also partnered with Immunify we established a bug bounty program so that we could pay security researchers who are able to submit uh, you know, vulnerabilities in a trusted way and receive a bounty uh, for their vulnerabilities. So um, we're bringing fully audited smart contracts and a bug bounty program uh, to, 
to Minwell because it's really important to just have that level of security in everything we do. Um, another thing we've been doing, we've been really focused on economic security. Uh, economic security, as we've all seen in recent history, is super important. It's equally important to smart contract security and other, level, other types of security. And what do we mean by that? Well, if you've been following the news in crypto lately, you've probably seen a lot of the failures of centralized lending protocol, or centralized lenders. These lenders like Celsius, uh, 3AC, others that are having solvency issues, um, we've seen how their failure to manage their credit risk appropriately has led to the insolvency of their entire lending, lending protocol, or their entire centralized lending company. And so it's very important for us as we think about credit risk management, to make sure that the loan, the book of loans on Moonwell is healthy and that liquidations can happen efficiently. Because when liquidations happen efficiently, that removes risky loans from the system. And so I think it's been really fascinating to kind of see over the last several weeks how decentralized lenders like Ave and Compound and Moonwell and others have been able to liquidate underwater debt positions really quickly whereas centralized lenders like the Celsiuses and the BlockFi's of the world are really struggling right now because they have insolvent loans in their books. And if they don't get paid back, then their entire company might fail. So I think it's really a testament to DeFi uh, that we're able to liquidate things more efficiently. But to that end, it's actually really important that we understand the economic security and how risky our entire book of loans is. And so, what we've done recently, the, the Lunar Technology Foundation, which is the foundation behind Moonwell, has now partnered with Gauntlet Network. Gauntlet Network is one of the leading, uh, the leading vendors in the space of economic simulations. And so Gauntlet is able to crunch millions of uh, transactions worth of data, look across our entire loan book, and simulate various economic conditions, such as March 2020, and they can tell us what would happen to our book of loans in a significant crypto downturn. And so by running these economic simulations, they can inform on-chain governance of Moonwell, and they can help our, make our book of loans uh, safer by introducing new economic risk parameters. So we're really excited to work with the great team over at Gauntlet to bring credit risk simulations to Moonwell, and we hope it'll make it even better uh, and even more secure. We've been really getting into data and analytics recently, and we've been able to crunch the data on over 2,800 loans that are on the books at Moonwell Protocol. And we can look across all of these loans and see which ones might be at risk of becoming insolvent. And so that informs our ability to, to uh, set proper collateral ratios and make sure liquidations are happening efficiently. So why Moonbeam? Well, to answer this question, I, I really think what, what inspires us the most and what makes Moonbeam perhaps one of the best parachains, I'm a little bit biased, but is that we can mint digital assets, so mintable XC20s. So if you're, if you're familiar with the ERC20 token standard, it's pretty much the token standard that everyone uses when they create new tokens. It's become this dominant token standard. There's been thousands of digital assets issued using the ERC-20 standard. And there's tons of developer tooling like Solidity and the entire developer tool chain that makes it very easy for asset issuers to use ERC-20. And so on Moonbeam, an asset issuer can, can mint an ERC-20 that looks and behaves just like any other ERC-20 on Ethereum, but it could be transferred to any parachain. And this is, this is a secret weapon that really gives Moonbeam superpowers. And this is also how we reduce or eliminate bridge risk by sending to other parachains. So we think that this gives Moonbeam capabilities that just don't exist in Ethereum and in other layer ones today. And we're really excited about it. And you know, there are teams such as Lido. Lido is the, the leading liquid staking DAO. Uh, they, they have more TBL than any other liquid staking provider. And they're bringing staked KSM, which is STKSM, which is liquid staked KSM, and staked dot, ST dot, to Moonbeam and Moonriver. And by deploying once on Moonbeam and Moonriver, 
they're able to reach all the parachains in the Dot Summit ecosystem. So it's really powerful. Uh, you know, you can imagine a bridge or any other type of asset issuer being able to simply mint once and reach all of Polkadot. It's, it's super powerful. So that's what drew us to, um, to Moonbeam. So what's next for Moonwell? So as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be bringing the best parachain assets into Moonwell. And we want to provide the ability for people to lend and borrow those assets and to get collateral on those assets. We're also going to be working on some really cool features for power users in the application that you see today. Recently, we've launched mobile support. So the app that you see today should perform well on mobile devices. We think this is a first in DeFi. Very few DeFi apps actually work on mobile devices. And we're going to continue to add more capabilities and make it easy to use for power users. Some of those features we're looking to add are the ability to create leverage borrowing positions and unwind leverage borrowing positions with a single operation instead of multiple operations. Another one is the ability to swap between different collateral types without having to repay your loan and borrow again. So we're really excited about being able to bring these new capabilities to the power users and also keeping it easy to use and simple for people that are new to DeFi. So we've really taken this approach of making it easy to use, making it safe, making it secure, and giving the power users the features they want as, as needed. So with that, I just want to thank you all for, uh, for your time today. And I uh, want to encourage you to check out Moonwell. And I hope uh, you all have a great conference and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much.